Hello friends, welcome to my 90 Sound YouTube channel. If you are a new visitor on my YouTube channel, please press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification after publishing my future videos. Now I will tell you Redmi 9 Mobile Top 10 Tips and Tricks. If you are using Redmi 9 Mobile or Redmi Mobile, I think this video is very helpful to you. Ok, let's start our first tip. Let's learn how to multitasking on this Redmi 9 Mobile. You can use two applications on one time using this multitasking mode. Now I open two applications. Ok, after you want to click on this recent key on your mobile. This is my recent applications. You can see the spell this screen option on top left corner. Click on it. After you can see the instruction, press and hold an app, then drag it to here. Now you want to drag and drop a application to this area. Now I drag and drop file manager to this area. Ok, now our first multitasking application is selected. Now we want to choose second application. You can choose this recent app if you like or you can use your mobile another application. I am using this recent app. Now you can see we can use two applications on same time. If you want to disable this multitasking mode, click on your recent key button. After you can see this exit option on top bottom area, click on it. After you can exit on this multitasking mode. Let's learn how to enable double tap mode on your Redmi 9 mobile. If you enable this feature, you can turn on your mobile e screen when double tap on your e screen. Let's learn how to enable this feature. Go to your mobile settings. After open this lock key screen option. In here, you can see double tap to wake or turn off e screen option. You can enable this option. Ok, now I turn off my mobile e screen. Now I double tap on my screen. You can see our e screen is turned on. I think this feature is very helpful to you. Let's move over another tip. Let's learn how to hide this navigation bar buttons or how to change these navigation bar buttons. Go to your mobile settings and scroll down this page. You can see here additional settings option. Click on it. Open this fully screen display option. Now let's learn how to change this navigation bar style. You can see this mirror buttons option. You can turn on this option after our navigation bar buttons going to change. If you disable this mirror buttons option, you can use this navigation bar as other style. I like this style. Now let's learn how to hide this navigation bar buttons and how to get full screen display. You can see this full screen gestures option. Click on it. After you can see a preview how to use this. You can click on this learn button. We can see a preview here. Ok, full screen mode is now enabled. If you want to go to back, you can set the edge on right or left side. If you like to use your full screen display, you can enable this option. Let's learn how to change our mobile notch and status bar. You can see this mobile has infinity V notch. If you not like this notch, you can hide this. Let's learn how to change this status bar and notch. Go to your mobile settings. Go to display option. Scroll down this page. After you can see here control center and notification shade option. Click on it. In the first you can see hide notch option. Click on it. If you want to don't hide your notch, you can use this first option. If you want to hide your status bar and notch, you can use this other two options. Let's learn how to add net speed monitor on Redmi 9 mobile. You can check your Wi-Fi or mobile data network speed using this net speed meter. Let's learn how to enable this. Go to your mobile settings. Go to display option. 
scroll down this page and again go to control center and notification shared option after you can see here show connection speed option now i already enabled this option you can enable this option after you can view your net speed meter on your status bar let's learn how to add our mobile battery percentage to our status bar if you add your battery percentage to here you can view your battery capacity easily go to your mobile settings go to display option after scroll down this page go to control center and notification shared option scroll down this page at the end you can see battery indicator option click on it after you can see your battery percentage style here let's learn how to take long screenshot on redmi 9 mobile normally we have two methods to take screenshot first method is you can press your volume down key and power button at same time after you can capture a screenshot another method is you can sub your notification panel after you can see here screenshot option click on it after you can capture a screenshot now i will tell you how to take a long screenshot now i open my mobile play store because i can take a long screenshot because i can scroll down this page now i set my notification bar and click on this screenshot option after you can see here scroll option click on it now our screenshot is continuously capturing if you want to take custom long screenshot you can adjust this after click on this done button this is our long screenshot you can click on this save button on top right corner this is our long screenshot in this method you can capture long screenshot without using any third party application let's learn how to add new fingerprint to redmi 9 mobile go to your mobile settings and scroll down this page open this password and security option you can see here fingerprint unlock option click on it i already added three fingerprints to my redmi 9 mobile if you want to add a new fingerprint click on this add fingerprint option after you want to touch your finger on your fingerprint sensor now i add my fingerprint okay now you can add your custom name after click on this done button this is our fourth fingerprint if you want to add another fingerprint you can click on this add fingerprint option let's learn how to view our memory status this mobile has 3 gb ram we can check how many capacity currently we are using and what is the free space when you pressing your recent key button you can view your memory status on the top right corner now i will show you how to enable this option go to your mobile settings and scroll down this page after open home screen option scroll down this page you can see here memory status option enable it now i press my mobile recent key button now you can see my mobile memory status i am currently using 1.3 gigabytes and my total ram is 3 gb this is last tip on this video let's learn how to enable dark mode on redmi 9 mobile now you can see i am currently using light mode we can change our notification bar and mobile background to dark mode let's learn how to enable this you can enable this dark mode using two methods first method is go to your mobile settings after click on this display option you can see here light mode and dark mode two options now i am using light mode if you want to enable dark mode click on this dark mode option now my mobile background is going to dark now i will tell you another method 
you can set your notification bar to down after you can see here dark mode option now it is enabled you can enable or disable your dark mode using this option now i disable this dark mode option if you want to enable or disable click on this icon now my mobile has enabled light mode if you are using redmi 9 mobile or redmi mobile i think this video is very helpful to you you can watch more tips and tricks on this mobile and other tech videos on our channel please add your comment here and please share this video with others if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe our channel for future updates have a nice day goodbye